generally Disney are really good with live action dog films so I was kind of looking forward to the biscuit eater but honestly I didn't really like it at all this was released in 1972 directed by Vincent McEvity I hope I pronounced that correctly and it's about these two young boys and a dog they name moreover which I thought was kind of a cute name and the dog is certainly very sweet and it's about their relationship with it and training this dog uh, where it seems like the dog can't be trained or can't be tamed and the relationship between the boys and the dog and also with this character called Willie it was interesting enough to the point where I think the characters were well acted relatively well written and the dog definitely was interesting whenever the dog was on screen that was quite cute but other than that I feel like the narrative was just really boring really slow and just a little bit all over the place and not something that I found to be very well done. So I didn't find it to be that interesting at all. It wasn't emotional either. Now, actually, I don't love overly emotional animal films, but I do feel like an animal film that can tug at the heartstrings is generally an animal film that's done right. But I didn't care for it. Apparently, it's a remake of a film from 1940, and I didn't dislike this so much that I wouldn't watch that film. In fact, I'm kind of curious to check out the 1940 version to see how it compares, to see if it's a problem with the story itself or with the way Disney has presented this story. So I might actually do that at some point, probably not anytime soon. I'd like to know what you think of it. Is it just me who didn't love it? It's got 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not a brilliant rating, but it's not terrible. That's across 499 reviews and ratings. So it seems like it's fairly an average film from most people's perspective. And I think that's a, a good way of putting it. It's not brilliant. It's not terrible. Most of the characters' actions were believable. And as I said, the relationship between various characters was pretty nice to see. So there were some, some decent bits. But generally speaking... The Biscuit Eater is not the usual quality of live action dog based films we get from Disney and while I probably will maybe try and remember to watch the 1940 version at some point, I can't imagine I'd ever watch this one again.